Hi everyone! So, third video review for this week is for my last uh, Ilva um, review copy for August, which is Wrong Number, Right Woman by Jay. Um, if you want to check out my Goodreads review, I did just post that the other day. So, if you're on Facebook or on my blog, there's a link within the post. And if you're on YouTube, there's a link in the description below. And this is a video review. So, Wrong Number, Right Woman by Jay was so perfect. Oh, absolute perfection. This story, I love it. I'm still thinking about it even now. Um, I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, so it's about Denny and Eliza. So there is a butch femme uh, trope in this, which is fantastic. I I'm starting to really, really love that. Um, and um, Denny and Eliza meet accidentally when Eliza sends her a text message she intended for her best friend, um, who is Heather. And uh, they strike up this unlikely friendship uh, as uh, Denny sort of supports Eliza uh, through the online dating adventure um, that, that Heather has got her all embroiled in. And um, when they both uh, start to realise that they have more than platonic feelings, friendship for one another, um, it's kind of a like, will it be Denny or will it be Eliza who brave admit in their feelings? I love it, I love it. They were, oh my god, it's so good. And um, I can't say too much more about it because if I say too much more about it, then it totally ruins everything about the book. So this was like the cutest, like the cutest, most perfect, amazing romance ever. Oh my god, this is cuteness, like taken and just like perfected so, so much. Oh my god, if you love romance and you like it to be all cute and sweet and happy and Oh, this book. This book will be perfect for you. And I am so in love with this. Um, from the idea to the characters and just the whole story, everything about it. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it as soon as I looked at the cover. And I loved it as soon as I read the first word. And Eliza and Denny, they're just both so insecure. And they're both so vulnerable. Yet they're both complete opposites. And with Eliza, she's feeling things for a woman for the very first time as well. So it's sort of like a bit of a coming out, but not a coming out. It's just like a self-discovery and there is a lot of uncertainty in her thoughts and and her feelings when it comes to Denny so she's really experiencing quite an emotional moment um time experience whatever she's having it's amazing and yet both of them um are aware that they, they just have this undeniable amazing connection and yet still they can't quite understand and they still they need other people to point it out <laughs> They're just, they're just so good friends in the end, and it's just all by accident. I love it. Absolutely love it. And um, like I say, this butch femme dynamic going on was just so sweet. And Denny, she she was the perfect gentlewoman. She really, really was. Um, and she was really respectful, but she was shy and sweet. And she even had feminine like side in her own unique way, and I loved that. She really wasn't your stereotype. She was a different... She was human, she was so human. Um, and Eliza, she was just full of energy, she was like this big ray of sunshine. When you were reading about Eliza, you just couldn't help but smile. And when they were together, you just, you felt so happy. And it was just, oh, it was amazing. And they literally, they're just like the cutest lesbian couple ever. Like, ever. They're just so cute. And I adore them both individually and together and I could completely relate to them both both of them had moments the situation everything I totally got it and it felt very realistic very human and I just I, I honestly I love this so much like and I think it is definitely one of my favorites of Jay's and not that I've read all of Jay's Jay's got a lot of books but um it's my favorite that I've read so far and um I really thought nothing was going to top backwards to Oregon and yeah this this probably has and it probably remain one of those books that I just always think about you know when sometimes you sit in and so and I like a moment or or, or or something pops into your head this is the type of book that leaves you with those little moments and you think oh yeah that was cute or like when you need a happy moment this is great to think about this book so it just make you smile so much it's so so cute and um it was just filled with all those sweet cute lovely moments some were like more do dorky like proper like dorky like proper geeky and sweet and um and then there was ones of just pure tension where i really felt for denny and i felt for eliza because they really were going to be the ones standing in each other's way they were just going to stand in their own way and each other's way um if they didn't make some moves and they were just so perfect together and they just they couldn't see it they just couldn't see it um and they just I, I literally just didn't want this story to end I loved every second of it and I was like reading it and reading it and I couldn't put it down like I say they were just so cute 
and I really hope we'll see them somewhere in the future. I really do because I love them so much. I actually miss them. I actually miss Eliza and Denny. And this was just, oh, it was just the perfect romance. It totally stole my heart. It'll steal your heart. And it will just leave you with this massive smile on your face. It will make you so happy. It will make you feel happy when you think about it. It's really good. It's a really good book for just taking you out of current situations and times and just feeling happy with two people who really deserve to be happy and were going to be happy and you just knew it and it was so amazing it was so lovely I oh I'm, I love it I love it I miss it and I love it and I'm definitely it's definitely one of those books that you would probably finish reading it and that you would pick it back up if I mean if I had the time if I didn't have a massive schedule stack of list of books to read I would pick it up straight away again I would start from the beginning all over again um, I absolutely loved it, it was absolutely amazing and it's definitely, like I say, one of my favourites of Jay's so far, absolutely love it. Um, so I will pop a link in the description so you can go and grab yourself a copy of Wrong Number Right Woman by Jay, which I really, really hope you will. If you've read Wrong Number Right Woman by Jay, oh, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. So please comment below, please get involved, please let me know what you thought of the book. If you haven't read it yet though, and it's on you to be read list and you're planning to read it, or you're really interested in reading it, or you've now seen this review and you think, oh, I want to read that book, then again, please comment below because it's always great to hear what you are interested in reading. And if you do read it, I really, really hope you fall in love with it. It definitely is one of those books that you probably won't be able to help yourself. Um, it's going to steal your heart whether you want it to or not. And I hope you enjoy it. Bye.